on um, index cards and with pencils. I thought they came out really cute and a, a page of a book. And I thought we'd do, uh, do them together. These is the, what I've done. And let's see what we can get done today. And I have dogs. I've had, I've got, so, and I'm using my phone, so. I'm just going to rip out a couple pages out of this book. I'm not paying no attention to what I'm ripping. I'm just having fun. And I'm going to use art little glue today because, well, half my stuff is still packed and cropped. Still out in my corner. And well, the first thing I did was just glue, glue the paper on. And I tried to get it as even as I can, but y'all know me, I don't do even good, so, you know, don't do what I do. And you can leave the lines, I'm using the line ones, but you can use the, uh, you can leave the line out. I just didn't really want to leave the lines out. All I did was take a pair of scissors, let me find some, and just trimmed around the uh, corn. Just like so. And you can use your um, decorated scissors to do this if you want. To give it some more character, uh, or time saving, and yes, I've got dogs are playing, so y'all just bear with me. And my husband may come home any minute, so if y'all don't know, I had a flat Saturday after crop. And uh, in a hundred degree weather, humidity was like 120. So we're trying to get all that fixed today. Okay, the first one I'm going to do, I think, is this one. And I'm going to lay my stencil out, and I'm going to pick out the color I want to use and you can use any color you want. Uh, I think I'm going to use this. Positive pink. Okay. Just kind of change it up. And I've got my double, dabble, whatever you want to call it. Sponge. And I'm just going to go in and just And you can make it faded at the ends. You can do what you want to do with it. I mean, I am going in with the green. I'm not finding the green dog one. And I am going to use garden green today. And you can use any stencil you've got. I know this is old, but I'm using what I've got. And 
and then I just rounded the corners with a corner rounder. And these comes in all, I mean, you can find these things in about every brand that makes punches. And then I just went around the edges. Like so. Just, you know, give it some more details. Okay. Now, this one, on this, on this one, I used a um, permanent marker, but I think I'm going to use, I'm going to try to use my black ink. I just had it. Oh, I don't know if it was a snake, it bit me. Don't forget to put the top back on, or oh, your pen back in your art glue or it'll dry. I'm just using the edge of that. Mm -hmm. And then I'm, I think I'm just going to go around that pink with the black. Just to give it a little bit more detail. That's all it is. Simple, easy, fast. Okay, now on to this one. We're going to do flip flops. Let's see. Let's get creative here. Let's do. Let's do tinking turquoise. I don't like a pair of turquoise. Ink that separate up. And I've got pink on this and from last when I was doing the trying to figure out exactly how to do it. Well, I knew how to do it. I just wanted to make sure I could, it came out good. <coughs> okay, we're going to do the round corner. Rounded the cord this paper needed. This one is um, Creative Memories. It's not my favorite one. I don't even know what my I think my favorite one's in my back to go bag. Well, it may be on this messy desk. I don't know. So here's the two we made today. And y'all want to make a different one? Let's make a different one. Let's have some fun. These is Pebble Company's uh, stencils. I don't even know if they still in business. I mean, I've had these things probably 15, 20 years and haven't really used them. I know. 
Okay, let's see. Let's get a baseball. Hey, we need a baseball in our lives. Okay, I'm going to use Whisper White. This. And it may not be too white, I promise you. And I'm using, I'm having to use a new sponge. Well, looks like the dog's got a hold of it at one time. Y'all, if you got dogs, you understand what I go through. I, my dog stays out here with me. And if, okay. Now I'm going to just use blue. On that one. I'm going to yellow and red. Yes, I'm talking to myself. It's okay. I think I'm going to ink it in the yellow. Because I say I am. I can't even find the yellow I had. I guess I've already put it back up. Y'all. Oh, let's round these corners. Okay, this is not that grade of one, but it works. Do you know what? We can always add more to it. Let's see. 
am going to use a gray from Nick Morton. Echo, how do you spell beach? Beach is spelled B. E A C H. I did spell it right. It just didn't look right. And, I mean, you can write on these like this. You can, you know, there's so much you can do with these. And, um, have fun. And, um, that's it. Just have fun. So, we made three of these. Now, these is my favorite. The beach ball came out okay. I should have used something else besides the white, I think, but it's fine. And then you can journal on the back of them. You can use them as journaling cards. You can use them as uh, embellishments in scrapbooks, like going to the beach. I mean, in the summertime, I live in flip flops. And the flowers, you know. You can always use flowers. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Have a blessed day, and we'll catch you later. And come back, we'll have some more fun.